Hi Pisces, welcome to your December 2020 reading. As you guys know, we're heading into the age of Aquarius. And so uh, for this reading, I'm going to be looking at what the energies are for December coming up for you. But also I'm, I'm hoping to get a bit of a glimpse as to how your energies are going to align or should be aligned <laughs> with the new age of Aquarius coming up. All right, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you definitely can check the bio box on Instagram. It'll have my Linktree link, which will take you to my Etsy link. And if you're on YouTube, you can just check the description box below the video and find my Etsy link. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> All right, so let's jump into your reading, Pisces. <sighs> okay, um, first of all, I'm getting that, I'm getting the energy of a party. It's like, there's a party going on, but where's my invitation? So I'm getting this feeling that you're going through some type of separation. And there's, it's almost like a, I don't want to say that it's punitive, but it carries this feeling of maybe uh, ostracism. So there may be some type of gathering or collaboration with others, and maybe you feel a little left out for whatever reason. And if that's the case, I do have to be honest if this reading is for you preliminarily i'm kind of getting that it may be that you're correct that maybe there is some form of ostracism that's going on okay now the first card that we turned over here is the dark night of the soul i am getting some lessons that were not um fulfilled now already i just want you to know again i'm reading for pisces this is going to be for a certain collective and so if you feel that any of these details are not in alignment with you um either you are unaware <laughs> love you or it actually is not for you and so you know but if this is resonating with you then you know what i'm talking about now what I'm trying to say is I feel that you've been going through some lessons as of late, as has everybody, but there are some things that you definitely are missing, some things that you've missed. So I'm getting this energy of a school energy. So you've been being put through your paces by your guides or by your higher self, but for whatever reason, some things were hits and some things were misses, okay? Now, I do want to say though that these energies are looking good. So Spirit is saying that it's time for you to move forward and to let bygones be, be bygones. So that's kind of giving me the energy that it's possible that, that this energy of having missed lessons or having not fulfilled something or not done them successfully, those energies could very well be in the past. For some of you, it could be now. And for some of you, it could be a recent past and for for others it could be a little bit more lengthily in the past however this card is coming to overlay that let me see can you guys see it because I'm on one side of the camera okay <laughs> and this card oh my god are you even seeing this card over here <laughs> it's the dark night of the soul card oh you guys please excuse me okay uh, so yes the dark night of the soul card so that's a pretty heavy card and you still can't see it, but it's there. <laughs> this, is, this is replacing it though. So I love to see this. This shows that there has been some elevation in your energy. Whatever it is that, and what's even better is that whatever it is that you learned or were able to glean from whatever it is that you went through in the past, or yeah, it, it could be now, but I'm really starting to get maybe a little bit more recent past or in the past last year or just whatnot, whatever it is you definitely have started to make the most of whatever you were able to glean. So to summarize, you were not able to get all of the lessons. However, what you were able to get, you are now working with that. And I think that's amazing. Okay. For some of you, you had to leave somebody behind in the process. Uh, that happens sometimes. It's, it's never fun. Trust me, I understand. But um, yeah, there's the love card. And I saw the masculine card earlier, and now this one replaced it, which is literally my card that usually says to uh, detach from a masculine energy. So for some of you, again, I do see that you may have had to leave somebody behind or a, a group of people, master healing. I'm getting this word ancient healing, okay? Yeah, ancient healing was was needed. 
And it's interesting that that energy came through because it's coming through with this kind of like an ancestral feel to it. And the whole idea is that there were forces that were beyond your control at that time. And so going back to what, yes, thank you. So going back to what our guides are saying, let the bygones be bygones. Those were in the past. Okay. Let me take a sip <laughs> in the present. Hold on. Ah, okay. <laughs> Nothing like a good hot beverage. Um, all right. So I'm getting that a lot of you may be kind of, and, and look, let me tell you this. It may not necessarily be you guys at the conscious level. It may be an aspect of you that you're carrying that is beyond your consciousness. But so when I say a lot of you, I'm getting that here. A lot of you may have wanted to be a teacher based on some of the lessons that you were trying to learn remember there was a bulk of lessons you were trying to learn some of which you were able to get i'm getting about a, an, an average rate about 65 percent for some of you of course it could be you know different percentages but um that's what i'm be, that's what's being highlighted now spirit is saying that um yes you won't be able to fully teach or or maybe pass on or or even meet up with some people or ha activate some soul contracts or whatnot because there were some things that you were not able to learn but again spirit is urging compassion self-compassion self-forgiveness and letting bygones be bygones it's about moving forward um, you were still able to glean some things be happy with that and devote yourself to that process okay i do see that um I was going to say we're getting older and then to my conscious mind, I was like, duh, <laughs> but it's still coming through in the channeled reading. So we're all getting older and spirit is saying to respect that process. We just get older here. And if you are getting older and you think that other there are other that everybody else has got it right, that they learned all the lessons they met, they were designed to learn or they had designed their chart to learn. That's just not true. Okay. Now, they're bringing my attention to a connection now, and they're saying that part of why you're having this perception of quote-unquote failure is because you've had to leave someone behind or because you've had to leave certain things behind. So Spirit is saying that, remember, it's all part of the process, and you have to remember that there is great strength in having the agency to even walk away from somebody or something. And as a person, on a personal note, I just want to let you guys know that sometimes you perceive of yourself as having been the one left or abandoned. However, sometimes if you look higher up into the energies, you realize, oh, it wasn't me that was actually left. There was something above me, like a higher and higher aspect of me that decided I no longer wanted to have this contract. And so some events happened in my physical world to bring an end to the connection of the contract and as i usually tell my clients how the person leaves is their business it, if they storm out if they write a dear john letter if you guys just get busy all of a sudden you never see each other or just whatever it is it really doesn't matter how it dissolves the point is the decision is made on some level and that's just what happened so my point is you can't control, like you can't assume that you have that much control over things from the conscious level and then use that idea, idea to beat up on yourself. So spirit is definitely coming through with a very concise energy. See how the cards have laid themselves? A very concise message. Let it go. Okay? Hold on. Okay, my throat is actually a little raw from <laughs> doing all these readings. But I love it. I love it. Okay. <sighs> so let's go on. Oh, Pisces. Oh, my little Pisces. Oh, okay. I feel like I need to build here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. That actually work? <laughs> worked. <laughs> Okay, so they're saying to lay eight cards, and eight we shall lay. There's one, two, ah! Okay. I'm getting uh, six cards, and the other two are late. Okay, that must mean something for somebody. Go ahead. One, two. 
three, four, five, six. And what are the late cards? One, that feels very responsible, whatever that is. And two, and uh, actually, yeah, and I, there's, there's one more, what was it? Ah, what was it? I think it was this one. Okay, yep, there it is, there it is, okay. Okay, so first of all, let's look at the late cards, okay? The late cards that I'm getting, quote unquote, I'm seeing, um, this is definitely speaking of love, some type of love connection. So I, yeah, that's what they're saying, late. So see, so if you're reading, if this reading is for you, some of you, most likely the single ones, <laughs> if there was a misconnection or some type of connection that needed to happen, I'm seeing it right here, but spirit is saying it's delayed or it's late or just whatnot. I wonder if that has something to do with the lessons that were not learned earlier. For whatever it's worth, I'm seeing that you're still on track to have this connection. We see we have the contract here. I almost said the concert. So concert is going to be significant for somebody here that we have, um, uh, the contract here, we've got the person here, and then this card here, we have two kids, but I usually, whenever this comes into a reading, it kind of comes with this six of cups energy. So this is speaking of a connection that is on track, but it's delayed, it's late. Okay, so let's take a look at the rest of these. Now again, this isn't for all Pisces, clearly, but it's what's coming through. Excuse me while I drink. Let me think while I drink. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right. So what I'm seeing here, and I don't know if this is you, Pisces, or if it is someone else. And I'm wondering if this is for the month of December or th if this is just generally. I'm just seeing somebody go. It's feeling like a masculine. This could be a masculine energy or polarity. It feels like you're going about your life, you're doing things, but you're just kind of missing the boat. So I do feel that there is a connection here in this background. I'm seeing it in these three cards here. <laughs> in fact, let me show you guys. But you're missing it. You're not paying attention. You're missing all the signs. Oops, let me go ahead and see if I can add a little light. Oh my gosh, guys, forgive me. It's late. <laughs> so we're doing our best. We as in me. <laughs> Okay, so you see how this uh, person is riding out of the forest, he's looking at the land, he's surveying, but look at this beautiful ball of light over there, it's lighting up the whole sky, he's totally not seeing it. And then look over here, he's climbing, he's making his ascent, he's make, having accomplishments, but look at that light over there, he's totally not seeing it. And here, here he is right here, doing his thing, totally not seeing it. And so seeing that, that life that's there and so what i'm getting is for somebody it could be you um my dear pisces for somebody here there's just this idea or this 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 tendency to walk about and miss an opportunity for a connection okay on the other hand got it okay so spirit is showing two paths right now that's what it is. So spirit is showing this one path where you can keep living your life, where you're kind of not um, doing all of the work that you need to do, where you are uh, keeping your head in the sand, where you're chasing after the material because I'm seeing making money here. I'm seeing having accomplishments here. I'm seeing here and this third card traveling, not um, necessarily you know, it just traveling for the sake of always being somewhere new as opposed to really making it meaningful. So a lot of those energies could be distractions. So that's one pathway. The other pathway that Spirit is showing here is that, um, and they're jumping in and they're saying that, they're jumping in on themselves, right? <laughs> they're jumping in to say, this is partly why this is being um, uh, delayed. And it's because a decision has to be made and so anyway going back to this other part here you could be considering your future you could be considering what would it be like to have someone in my life what would it be like to have real and meaningful connection and accomplishments and things like that so you could be doing it from a more spiritual more grounded more contemplative place 
you could really experience what it means to truly build something from from your hands because accomplishment they're saying is not just about climbing the mountain for example like yay i did it accomplishment is about using your hands to get dirty to 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 build for somebody else to so there's this concept of community that's coming into this idea of um yeah, they're giving me the word collectivism, right? So look at how this concept of building here is not just about having accomplishments for yourself. It's about really um, thinking, how can I build for my community and how can I make it better for other people and not necessarily take the credit, right? So now we're seeing this direct contrast here. And then in the last one, I'm seeing here this waterfall, which is just speaking to something higher than yourself. How can I allow? And that's all. So Spirit is asking you, Pisces, if the, or whoever you are watching this reading, Spirit is asking you to, number one, let go of the things that, y you know, you were not able to accomplish. But also understand that in not being able to accomplish all, there are some things that have been delayed. There are some contracts that have been shifted around or may never come into being. And that's just the nature of being alive because we always have choice. And when you choose one thing, there are countless other things that are not chosen. And so therefore those timelines are not activated. So I guess no harm, no foul, right? But spirit is actually coming through with a more... Um, a another message, which is you need to set your course. This is why that, that card was kind of peeking out. Set your course. What kind of person would you like to be moving into the future? And hey, if you want to talk about the age of Aquarius, start thinking about that as well, Pisces. What kind of person would you like to be? Would you like to chase the material as usual, right? Would you like to survey the land, be free, travel? Would you like to accomplish, reach new heights? Would you like to um, learn all sorts of things? Or would you like to survey at a deeper level? Would you like to envision, dream, um, manifest? Would you like to build not only for yourself, but for other people, whether or not you ever get any recognition? Would you like to allow spirit to come through and work through you and for you to just sit and observe? Because it doesn't start with you. You're not the one who's doing anything it's going through you right so this is about adjusting your lens that's nice now i do really feel like they're bringing me back to this right here this connection here now there is an idea that yes you're still on track to make um, favorable connections is what they're saying now we're seeing this concept move and expand not just from one person but now to describe um, people in general, favorable connections. But what kinds of connections are you going to have? Like, are you, these favorable connections going to be of a high quality? Or are they going to be just meh, you know, more of the same? So the beautiful thing that you need to take away from this reading, Pisces, is that you have the choice to forgive yourself, number one. And you have the choice to determine what quality your future is going to uh, take on, okay? So, yeah, they're saying that you have everything that you need to know. Look at this, double, double oracle cards. This one says oracle, and this one says tea leaves. But here we have this book of knowledge. Spirit is saying you have everything that you need to set this course. And they're saying that, yes, it will be helpful along your path to consult um, with, with spirit. However you'd like to, of course, you know, you can always find readers like me and other readers out there. But of course, you can sit just as, as well, quietly connect with your guides. You can seek um, counsel. Remember that as long as you seek spirit, spirit will find a way to get to you, whether it's on the side of a bus, whether it's <laughs> through the no newspapers, whatever, they'll find a way. Um, they're also saying to work better with shielding yourself, okay? I'm also getting for you, Pisces, that they want you to stay away from taking too many gambles. Yes, you have everything that you need. You know everything that you need to know in order to make some really great informed decisions moving forward. But it doesn't mean to just give up and just like, ah, it's too much thinking. I'll just pull the lever on this. Uh, uh, right. They're saying that's going to be more along this 
line of live this side of living on this side of living where you're opening up to working with spirit opening up to having a deeper meaningful more meaningful connection with people in general and society then you're just working at a different level and that actually at the bottom of the deck we've got these two lovely cards that say guidance and mastery okay so i think we see which side of the spectrum would be best for you to work on moving through the month of december and i just want to say that it's actually a pretty pivotal time right now because a lot of people are trying to let's say a lot of spirit souls <laughs> they're trying to um work on some last minute energies you know before the end of the year you know also we have the age of aquarius formally beginning on the 21st but i mean let's be honest the energies have been coming on for decades onto the earth however oops it's still a time when a lot of us people are trying to get our last minute work in or extra credit work in so for you in particular if this reading was guide was guided to meet you then um you are being asked to forgive yourself let all that go and to sit and really from a deep place make a decision as to how you would like to show up in the world okay very important all right pisces Mwah. and yes you're gonna have love you're gonna have all of that but the decision that you make today is going to determine the quality of whatever it is that is going to be given unto you okay all right okay if you guys would like a personal reading with me you definitely know how to reach out and of course you are welcome Mwah. bye